Welcome back everyone. Chances are that getting in shape was on your list of resolutions. Now everyone has their preference, whether it's working out at a gym or at home. There's so many different things that you can do, but you need workout gear to get you started. So we have Eddie Gonzalez this morning who's with Academy to show off some great items that they have for this particular venture. Thanks so much for being here with us, Eddie. Thank you for having me. So what are some of the things that can get a person started working out? Well, some of the things that, that we brought or what we have to get people going is good uh, footwear, mm -hmm. uh, shoes, running shoes, apparel. Those are the things, the basics that people are looking for and what Academy has a lot to offer. And specifically, we're talking about shoes because it really depends on the type of training that you're going to do, whether you're going to uh, start a running routine or you're going to start a legitimate workout routine, you know, lifting weights, hitting the gym. So tell us about some of the different shoes that you brought with you today. Correct. Uh, we have our running shoes, and I have two sets of running shoes, mm -hmm. and a pair of training shoes for women. Uh, running shoes that be lighter, lightweight, and of course training shoes are a little bit more um, uh, durable, can, mm -hmm. can help uh, more for, for higher impact activities. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have our, our wraps here for yoga. Okay. Okay, so tell our viewer what the difference is between maybe a stand, these two train. So you're talking about these two running shoes. Uh, you know, who would, what type of person would want to use this particular shoe? What's the difference between brands? I know the different brands put out different running shoes, uh, some for the trail and then maybe some for just running in the gym. Correct. Well, there's a, a CrossFit right now is the largest thing. Mm -hmm. So generally, people are going to do any kind of running. They're going to look at shoes that are going to be lightweight. Uh, if you're going to be doing the field or outdoor running, we, there's a shoe that would be like a track shoe mm -hmm. or a, a, like a training shoe mm -hmm. that you would use out there for outdoor. But these would be your, your gym running, you're going to be on a treadmill, you're going to go out there in the field, uh, like street running or on the sidewalk. And then this one is for training specifically. So what would you be looking at for a training shoe? Okay, for a training shoe, one of the things that you'd be looking at is one, durability, breath uh, breathability, if we can look mm -hmm. on the bottom, uh, just the uh, supports that it has, arch supports and things like that. But it also depends right on the, on the actual individual themselves. And then this is a neat little yoga shoe here. Why do people, why are people starting to go towards a shoe for yoga as opposed to just doing it barefoot? Uh, one, people need the grip. People tend to have, you know, if they have sweaty feet, they something to support them. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Eddie, for being here with us this morning. We're going to bring you back in our next hour to talk more about some of the cool stuff that you have on the apparel side at Academy. In the meantime, we'll be right back. Thank you.